Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. First of all, I really want to get into the lotto of it all. Okay. Because if y'all can hear the echo, I'm sorry. The location that I'm at, you know, this building is just echoing. So y'all just going to have to hear it. But hopefully y'all can, you know, get my points and see what I'm trying to say and all of that. Right. Because I just really want to get this video out to you guys and get my opinion on it. Because I just feel like it's so important to get my opinion on this specific topic and just to like, you know, give you guys the tea, give you guys the business, let you guys know what's up. Okay. Lotto. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I got to do like a whole video talking about Megan and just the entire impact of Megan and how she's really been coming with her tour um, because I think she has very much so inspired a lot of the girls. And I think it's a very amazing thing. I think it's a very wonderful thing. I think it's a very just brilliant thing. Every time Megan Thee Stallion gets around a person, I want to say I've seen it more so with female rappers, but I'll say people in general, right? Because people say that, hey, she is a social climber. She's all of these things, but I'm starting to see some good in it, if you understand what I'm saying. Like Megan gets around people and she learns and she like pays attention and she picks up the sauce, okay? I've seen her do it um, when being around Cardi. I've seen her do it now while being around Beyonce you know um I don't know if she was around Nikki long enough but I think she gained some things from that experience as well and anybody she comes in like encounter with she like picks up something from them she's not just with them you know for no reason she picks up she learns you know she takes hey I'm gonna take this from that person I'm gonna take that from that person and I think that's kind of wonderful some people may not like that because they feel like hey you know Megan's still in this and still in that but no the goal is to learn when you're around somebody you have to learn don't just be around people and not pick up nothing or not take nothing from it you know and I think that it's amazing so much so that she's inspiring the girls you know now Beyonce went on her tour right and shortly after Nicki Minaj went on her tour and now Megan Thee Stallion is doing her tour and she brought Lotto out on her tour and I think that that was like the momentum or I'm sure they planned it like was planning or thinking about doing something but I think this solidified everything for Lotto that hey I should definitely go ahead and do my birthday bash because it just absolutely was wonderful to me you know my, in my opinion I just absolutely loved it what I will say is I I did not get excited about nobody else. I'm corny. I didn't get excited about nobody else until Rashida came out. Hey, when she, when Rashida came out, I was like, hey, put him on and make him want to marry me. Hey, put him on and make him want to marry me. Like, I was, I, I'm lame. Okay, I wasn't happy about nobody else. <laughs> but when Rashida came out, no, and Summer Walker. I love me some Summer Walker. Hell, she just did her big one, okay? She, and then, um, Flo Millie, y'all know I love Flo Millie. Like, Lotto did her big one, okay? Um, she performed. Now, this being a birthday bash, I think it was it suited the event, like her just doing what she's doing and her being just an amazing artist. So I think it's good. I think that, you know, Lotto definitely should have, in my opinion, I don't think she's ready for arenas yet. I think that she should go the JT route um, and, you know, do little, just little barbecues, little club hostings, do that right now, in my opinion, just because I just feel like that, you know, she hasn't created enough hits yet to go on her own um, and do like just do her own individual sets i'm sure she can pack them out because people really do love her um however you don't want it being like dead energy when people go to your show you want people to really vibe with you people to really you know create like love your music you know i don't even i don't know what like lotto calls her fans i'm sorry don't you know get offended by that i just don't know like megan calls her like fans their hotties the hot girls you know what i'm saying i, I just don't know cardi's Barty gang Nicki minaj's barbs what do lotto is it the tickets or the lottery tickets i don't know what she calls her fans and i think that that's something that has to be clear before you talk about going on like a big tour arena whatever i'm not saying she shouldn't drop you know albums or whatever you should definitely drop albums do what you you know gotta do but i think that you should definitely keep it small 
I remember um, Chloe Bailey went on tour. I was there. You know, I, I visited Chloe Bailey. Um, I remember when, um, what, what's that girl? Uh, Coco Jones. There, her, yeah, Coco Jones went on tour. I was there too. And it was just smaller, you know, venues and stuff because you want people to really be hype and you want to really grow. And I think Lotto's in that stage to where she's growing. I don't think that she should do huge arenas. Not saying that she can't, like, people won't come out. People will come out. People will purchase tickets. But I think that you have to have, like, a clear, like fan base or a clear you know a big group of people that like know your stuff and will vibe to it you know um if you are going to go on tour if that's something that you feel like you want, want to do i think that you should have a great person that's like an opener or a great person that you're going on tour with if you went on tour with cardi b i would love that if you went on tour with megan i would love that it should be a cardi megan lotto you know what i'm saying an all girls hip-hop tour i would love that i would come out for that i just don't think that she should be just on her own and just you know creating just going on tour on her, own, on her own right now and if she does she should pick smaller venues because i think an intimate crowd would benefit her and i think you want people to really turn up to your music you don't just want people to just be there just to be there and staring at you in my opinion but i think that when her set i knew a lot of her songs but a lot of the audience didn't and it didn't like look like they were vibing as much as they was when other people was in the audience you know am i just in my opinion you know and a lot, a few people knew her songs, but you want the whole crowd bumping to your music. And I think that when she went and did the the show with Megan, it kind of inspired her. Like, hey, I'm I'm finna, you know, come out. I'm finna do my big one. But I and I also think that you should um, optimize your brand more. You know. I would say start, you know, responding or calling your fans specific names and, you know, let it be known, hey, the people that support Lotto are these people, you know, and I think that she just needs to create more bangers and she got it. She got it in her. She is very talented and Atlanta is really behind her. Atlanta really rocks with her. I loved it. I think that she did an amazing job performing. Something that I wasn't like, I was like, girl, y'all could have really landed was when 21 Savage came out. When 21 Savage came out, I was expecting them to give us i don't know jay beyonce <laughs> give us um i don't know ari and herbo when they was together give us something give us a tease because y'all obviously dealing with each other but it was so distant on stage you couldn't see the chemistry hell y'all could have gave saweetie and yg because saweetie and yg was giving she knows she a bad b and he you know he here for her, all of that like i would love that but they just was giving all you know distant but you're posting some subs online telling us that hey he he you know you Let's like, everybody knows your man is him, and he not saying nothing. I don't know why, because of immigration or because of his wife. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but you keep speaking about this man online, but don't want to say who the man is, and everybody know who the man is, but you like I don't understand. And then you do things like this, like you you're trolling for no reason. If you're with him, you're with him. Nobody cares. His wife don't care. Nobody else cares. Y'all been dating or dealing with each other for four years plus, so. I don't understand what's the secret behind it if it is 21 because you're bringing him to all your events. He's, you know what I'm saying? Even when they did the performance with Cardi, they was wearing matching colors. Both of them was wearing red. Like, I just wish that if you are going to be with 21 Savage and you, you keep going to keep trolling us, I feel like you should make it a thing. Let everybody be talking about you and this man. But he just popped out, did your little show, and it, it just gave that. Nobody's talking about, ooh, did you see how Lotto and 21 was? The T. Like, nobody's giving that. It's just very, oh, he, he's just one of the performers it wasn't a big deal and you're a big deal so I feel like everything about you should be a big deal I want the speculations I want the conversation I want people to be thirsty about what you got going on online and y'all had that and even for me something else I want to bring up is her outfit I don't feel like her outfit was like stamp out stand out enough for the show like it was just a basic outfit her hair was basic everything was very basic in her uh, appearance and I didn't like that like her performance was amazing but her performances are always amazing she's always you know killing it but her hair was basic lotto hairstyle you know that middle part curly she was you know that's basic lotto um her outfits was basic lotto it, was just, it just gave an average day on instagram you i would have really loved that she put together a performance fit you know something that stands out sparkles you know you're performing like give it to us you know i would arena outfits you know put it up like let sell yourself on being that type of artist that can really do arenas because you wasn't selling yourself as such and then when you came and you were performing the people weren't hype about it you know what i'm saying i just feel like you had a dress for the job you want you know i feel like she could have definitely turned it up a notch it just gave i'm effortlessly doing this like i, I just i can just do it but you didn't put much effort into it if it makes sense you know 
I wish she put more effort into her wardrobe. I wish she put more effort into the stage. And the DJ was pissing me off when Usher was performing because he kept on, like, stopping and all. I was like, uh-uh, I don't know. Maybe they did sound check and he was supposed to do that, but I didn't like that because Lovers and Friends was my jam. So you're not going to play in Usher's face, in my opinion. But the rest of the girls, you know, did amazing. Summer Walker, you know, Flo Millie was doing her thing. Rashida was doing her thing. She definitely had the city behind her, showing her love, showing her appreciation, like, handling the business for her and I loved that and I appreciated that and I, I, I loved seeing her show all together I just wish that presentation looked better on her end and the show's end and I just wish that you know people were more hyped during her set they were hyped when everybody else giving the energy but during her set it just seemed like she was just performing and people weren't hyping her up you know and I appreciated her moving around the stage and giving everybody the looks you know this person that person going all around you didn't stick to one section on like on stage however i just wish that you know she really i don't know the presentation wasn't there for me um and i feel like she should try the small arenas in my opinion just because it gave that you know it just didn't give oh i'm a big arena even if you did sell out that arena i'm sure people came out of course i'm like i said I, I think that she can pack it in she's talented she's amazing she can pack it in i just don't feel like she um has like people are not ex excited and you have to give excitement you have to make yourself a big deal so other people know that you're a big deal and they can see that you're a big deal you're not giving i'm a big deal you're giving y'all come to my little show <laughs> you know and i don't think that you know i just don't think that that's what you should be giving you have to give like i am a star rub you know she has to work on her presentation you have to think more of yourself so other people can think more of you as well. I don't think that she was putting that, like, into this outfit. Every, like, it just gave, like, basic show, you know? Everybody was performing. Everybody was excited. But I felt like the presentation and how it looked wasn't, you know, for me. But she performed. I loved her performances. I love that she did her big one. I love, like, I love Glotto's music. I love how she's a beautiful girl. I love all of these different things about her. But I feel like, you know, she kind of got to build on certain things. But I'm glad that the girls are coming outside. I'm glad that the girls are going and doing their big ones with the shows and stuff. And they're not just here and just going on and just, you know, just existing. They're really putting in their work and really showing that they deserve a spot. And I, I absolutely love that. I love that they bringing it out. You know, they putting, putting butts in the seats you know out here really putting their money where their mouth is a lot of fans got to show up for your you know if all this online stuff is one thing but y'all need to put y'all butts in the seat you know it's enough y'all buying albums yeah y'all gonna see us and i love that because you when you go on a tour or you go on these different cities and stuff you're definitely showing people and meeting different fan bases and growing your fan base in my opinion because i told y'all when i went to the megan stallion concert it really made me a fan of megan you know you like megan but it's like it's like verses you ever like watch the verses when you like hear artists blah 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 and all of that but you get back into their catalog and you really oh my god what i forgot they had this oh i forgot they had this that's how it's like when you go on tour and i think that a tour situation or like a performance or like a live show it gives you that and it makes you it reminds you why you're a fan of this person you know oh like this they hit oh this they song oh yeah and then the drinks is flowing it's like a major club event <laughs> but it's like at an arena or even some people do the little clubs you know all of that i think that she uh lotto should definitely you know do the little arenas for now not because she doesn't have the fan like people are coming out people will come out and support lotto i think that lotto should do like um small because i want people that care about your stuff i don't want people just there because of if that's is my opinion but if she just wants to have people show up and show that she can pack them that then i guess you know do it but i i want you know grave reviews rave reviews and people saying oh we love this oh we love that oh we love this oh we love that like i think she should build on it but that's just my opinion as far as lotto you know her big birthday bash and what i think about it y'all let me know what y'all think i love y'all Bye bye